Katja Kruijters. I'm a food designer. And um, I'm fascinated by the material food. So technology brought us really a lot of benefits. Think about microwaves, fridge, uh, think about big supermarkets where you can see really beautiful shiny products. But I think uh, nowadays we have to think about a change. We need a sustainable society. And um, I think we have to make the consumer aware of this, and this is my mission. Because I think we are completely lost, and we lost also the contact with nature. So I will show you a, a project um, where it's about uh, the borders, um, and then these borders uh, change in my work. So this is the project Beautiful by Nature. Um, I was invited by the VNT Food event in 2008, and they asked me to design a special dinner. And then um, we decided to make a, a cradle-to-cradle dinner. So then I did some research, and I collected all kinds of um, waste food in the food industry. And I was really shocked, because I was really shocked when, when you see how big the amount is. For, us, for example, this bread, they throw away. It really makes me mad. So, um, yes, it's me. So I picked up the bread, and there were 455 pieces of bread, and they just come back from the supermarket to, um, to the industrial bakery. So I picked them up, and then I make them in cubes, and then I bake them as a big crouton. And then now, on the next page, you will see what's happening with it, on the, on the right picture. I made a really big bread table as a statement because the guests were the people from the food industry, so they can eat from their own waste. <laughs> so on the other picture, you see a sugary scale bowl, and it was for the dessert, and then it was also made from um, sugary waste. These are tablecloths made of 8,256 wine gums, and then you can cut and just try. This one it was a really exciting one, because to make the people aware, I used the whole ingredient. So I don't use the, the total octopus, I also use the ink. So the octopus is laying on its own ink. And then it was really tasty, stuffed, um, octopus, and then you can cut a leg out of it and try. <laughs> so these are, so I used the total ingredients, kind of from uh, refuse to reuse. So these are salmon balls, and they are presented on their own skin. And then finally, the result was. Um, that the guests, the people, they are really exciting, and they were very surprised and inspired. And then they asked me, like, why you don't start a restaurant with this concept, because it's really interesting. And then I was thinking, okay, one restaurant, can I make people aware with one restaurant? I think that's not enough. So, then I was thinking, okay, it's a very interesting, this food waste, but if the industry has a problem with this food waste. I think the solution is not to work with this food waste, but I think the solution is to prevent. But how can I prevent food waste? Because 10 till 15 percent at home, they throw away. And even in restaurants, it's 25 till 35 percent. So it's, it's really a lot. Sorry, 25. And in the supermarkets, I think, I don't know, but I think you don't want to know. So, if you look at this picture, it's about the mass consumption. It's a really big factory. 
When I look at this picture, I'm really wondering, what are they producing? Is it the paint? Or are they making maybe kind of chemicals? So I want to tell you, they are making chicken. Does it look tasty? So I think this is a, is a very strong picture. And then I was thinking, OK, so if I want to prevent food, well, how am I going to do that? So I go back to the roots. I go back to the roots, to the nature. And then I'm going to rebuild and rethink about a restaurant. So then I was thinking, what do I need for a restaurant? I need the chairs. I need a cooker. I need guests. I need a chef cook. And finally, natural food. Because if we eat the natural food from nature, then we don't have waste. Then I was thinking, is it simple like this? But then the next question, what is natural food? By the way, did you ever see this tomato? <coughs> it's a very special one. <laughs> so I did some field work. And um, so I went to um, all kinds of farmers and producers. And then on my way, I met a very special friend. It was the unobserved potato. And then when I speak with this unobserved potato, he told me, yes, um, I said, why, why you are laying here? And then he told me, I'm not accept. They don't want me. They refuse me in the supermarket. And then I said, why? Yeah, because all the people want to have a perfect nose. They want to have perfect skin. They want to have the perfect partner. And then finally, they want to have the perfect potato. But is it real? So I met another fellow. It's the two-leg carrot. And he has a very special character. So he brought me to another friend. And it's the unnoticed apple. And he was a little bit sad, and he looked a little bit shy. And then he said to me, like, I really want to join the other apples, but I'm a little bit discriminated. I said, why? Yeah, because they are all perfect. And um, yeah, I don't know, I feel a little bit sad. And then I said to him, let me tell you, I think you are really beautiful by nature. So then he, he just say, OK, let's meet another friend. And then I meet his friend, the twin apple. And this twin apple, um, I said, like, OK, so you have the same problem. Yes, I have the same problem. So let me give you a very beautiful treatment. So I give him a beauty treatment, and then I make really pretty apple twin chips out of it, and they were very tasty. And let me tell you, finally, they were eating and presented by the Dutch Minister of Economic Affairs. So they were really happy. And then we made a lot of apple twin chips, and they are now really all over the world. <laughs> So after my field work, I realized that we have to re rethink about how we produce food, so to feed our mind, and how we are going to do that. So I found my way to uh, do all kinds of tasting uh, by Beautiful by Nature. And then I um, make the people who the guests um, aware, because they can choose by themselves their own food. So in this case, you can see on the, on, the, on the left side, sorry, on the right side of the left picture, you see the beautiful by nature fruit and vegetables. And then at the other side, you can see the regular, the mass consumption uh, fruits and um, vegetables. And on the right side, it's a carrot installation of 
beautiful by nature carrot. And here you can see the view above. So everybody could choose. Shall I choose the regular ones or the regu irregular ones? And then they can choose uh, what, what's for me beautiful and what's for me tasty. So it was a very exciting uh, experience because finally the people was really inspiring and get conscious and they are really happy with uh, uh, that they can pick their own uh, carrot. So it's a very small way of getting people aware, but it's spreading slowly around the world. So I think Beautiful by Nature, this was one story about the, the Beautiful by Nature vegetables. So there are more um, stories, for example, the conserving story. But I'm not going to tell more stories, <laughs> because I, I told you, I think, already a, a wonderful story. Um, but this is about the conserving. It's also maybe a link with art to conserve energy, to keep energy, to keep the heat, so you can also keep uh, the food. And um, another small story is also about the forest, because on the left side, this is a birch tree. Did you ever drink from the birch tree? They produce really tasty, wonderful juice, and I prefer above the, the Dutch apple juice. Bridge juice is a re really very fresh, natural taste. But I think a lot of people don't know you can drink. And then on the right picture, do you think it's a real mushroom? It's from chocolate. And it's a very tasty one. And it's inspired by nature. So these are kind of stories I tell with food. And then um, I hope that I, I inspired uh, with the beautiful by nature Eutropolis. Because um, uh, beautiful by nature is uh, making, a con because f sorry, because food is connecting people to each other. And um, because of the, the, the connection, um, you can pe make people aware. And I think it's a very important of the, the social, to make this uh, difficult social issues, to make it more accessible and attractive. So I travel around the world because Beautiful by Nature is becoming mobile. It's becoming a mobile uh, restaurant, so it's really exciting. It's still in development. And I hope in 2018 I will see you here again. So I give you a small impression of this uh, restaurant, and um, thank you. <laughs> so maybe somebody can then stand and tangle.